as a parent you need to ask yourself what is it that my child can do yeah there are so many things they can get engaged in other than just only the academic work so once you identify then allow that child also to participate in that welcome this is dialogue at the well i will come to you every saturday at 6 pm on wema tv and it has been glad we have always been there and uh, engaging on a number of issues we have uh, addressed uh, several issues that are affecting our young people our young generation and uh, uh, today we got a special show where we want to address uh, the big group or a good number of people over 300,000 people actually are meant to understand are uh, now at home and uh, now that they are at home there are so many things that uh, we need to address there are so many things that are happening we need to prepare that is the we need to have um, a, a lot of preparedness in uh, handling our young people but before we get to that uh, today we got a special a uh, guest with us uh, that has honored our invitation and is going to introduce himself as um, we get to, to roll in the show welcome sir thank you so much uh, mr prince a good friend of mine uh, my name is uh, Mwalim Neville Chemuku Napori. I'm a teacher by profession. I'm an entrepreneur. And above all, I'm honored to be here. Good evening. All right. Welcome, sir. And thanks for honoring our invitation. Um, this, our guest today, uh, saying that he is a teacher by profession. So that tells you that is a person that is uh, interacting with um, the young people, with the young generation in class. And any person that is uh, interacting with our young people has a lot of experience in what they expect, has a lot of uh, experience in what uh, they need to know, has also a lot of experience in dealing with the parents. And that is why uh, today our, our topic is uh, uh, parenting uh, young people or parenting teenagers during holidays. Now, this being one of, um, uh, since we we, 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 uh, we we came from uh, Corona, I think this is uh, uh, the second uh, longest holiday. And uh, Mwalim is uh, with us today, uh, Mr. Neville, and there are a number of things that uh, as I was uh, discussing with him, as I was talking with him, uh, I realized that there is, is, is well loaded in uh, the information that pertains, that needs to get to our young people, that needs to get to our learners that are now at home, uh, probably for the next about uh, uh, two months, and uh, they'll be there with your parents there are so many things that they need to uh, to learn there are so many things that they need to get uh, to know and uh, uh, today as we're talking about uh, parenting we are basically on uh, in the holidays and uh, as they deal with the, the, the holidays uh, i'll start by asking him what is the role of the teachers during the holidays now thank you so much uh prince again um that's a very good question but first of all, allow me to wish uh, uh, our students who are sitting for exams during this holiday. Uh -huh. uh, the KCP, we understand, is starting next week. Yeah. Uh, the KCSE started officially this week uh, for those ones having practicals in home science and other subjects. Yeah. Uh, but the main papers are going to start uh, from 14th. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wish you all this, uh, the best yeah. uh, in your exams. Mm -hmm. Secondly... Uh, this particular holiday is coming with a lot of challenges, especially mm -hmm. on the side of the parents. Yeah. Most of the parents are looking at it from uh, uh, as, 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 as maybe a curse. Uh -huh. uh, because it's coming with uh, a lot of challenges, especially when schools close. Some yeah. of them, they start getting afraid mm -hmm. because uh, the students are now going to be at home. They are now wondering what are they going to do uh -huh. uh, with these children when they are at home. Mm -hmm. uh, others are now, especially when you look at the parents who are in rural areas, yeah. Um, they are now celebrating because now it's planting season in some areas. Ah. So they are still uh, looking as a, a, a positive way. Uh -huh. Now, when you talk about the role of uh, teachers, especially during this particular holiday, uh -huh. teachers, they still play a very important role. Yeah. Now, we understand the uh, schools are going to close for about seven weeks, yeah. but exams, uh, they are going to take place. Yeah. So one role the teachers are going to, engage, to get engaged in is mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, these exams are going to be carried on uh, smoothly yeah. because they are the same same people who are going to supervise yeah. they are the same same people who are going to mark mm -hmm. and uh, still they are the same same people mm -hmm. who are also parents mm -hmm. back at home yeah. so they play a very important role uh -huh. and then uh, when you also look at uh, the teachers mm -hmm. they also act as role models especially in societies role models. yes yeah. role models the mm -hmm. parents they want to see 
how the teachers are going to carry themselves around. The ah. students are also going to see because these teachers, mm. they still come from the very, very society. Yeah. Yeah, so they are very key, especially when the holidays are concerned. Ah, I yes. tell you, today we are getting it from uh, the teacher himself. And, yes. Uh, he says that uh, the teachers are role models. And mm. uh, unfortunately now, me as your host, all the best to our candidates. Wale wana wanafanya mitiani, wale wanaanza, namna hiyo, namna hiyo, and we wish them well. And uh, actually they have been um, in school for a very short time. So we expect the best from them. Actually, this is, uh, the, 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 I think, the second uh, corona class, wherever, the, the, that have come from uh, the, the, the pandemic uh, season. And uh, Walim says that the teachers are role models. So teachers have a role to play in holidays. That is, during the holidays, teachers have a role to play. Now, uh, after the teachers, we are done with the teachers. Now, this is the young person. This is uh, the, the, the learner. This is the student. Them that are, because we, we are talking, we are dealing about, we are talking about uh, a very sensitive age. That is a group that is involved in so many other things. Actually, this is now an opportunity to explore. This is an opportunity now to, you know, to get into drugs, to engage into band music, to engage into, uh, to band company. Now, back to our, our, our learners and our young people, the, the teenage. What is the role of these learners back at home? Teachers being role models. What is the role of these young people? What is their main role? Now, thank you. Yeah? Um, when it comes to the role still of the teachers and the parents, mm -hmm. I said uh, teachers are also parents. Yeah. Now, they are the second parent now after the main mm -hmm. parent. After the main parent. Yes. Yeah. Now, these students, they have now closed. Yeah. One thing uh, we need to understand is that these particular students have also been given some form of assignments uh -huh. back at home. Yeah. So, it is now going to be the role of the parent uh -huh. uh, to ensure that these particular assignments are also uh, done. Uh -huh. At the same time, yeah. uh, we also need to understand mm -hmm. that these particular students, when they are at home, they also have their own personal responsibilities yeah. under the guidance of now the parents. Mm -hmm. uh, because a teacher, uh, it can, you cannot keep on following the child at home mm -hmm. uh, because now once the schools have already closed, you expect these particular parents also to take their own parental roles. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is now going to be squarely in the hands of the parents. Yeah. Unless uh, maybe when uh, it happens that maybe parents, they can consult the teachers here and there for some guidance and everything, but that is at personal level. Mm -hmm. But now when the students have already closed, yeah. uh, the parents, they need now to take their own parental role. Mm -hmm. uh, it also helps the teachers also to rest yeah. because you cannot just work uh, nine, uh, nine then. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. yeah, let the parents also act as the, now the, what the, the teachers the, at the, home our learners out yes. there our yeah. students out there our yes. teenagers out there you have your personal responsibilities you have uh, the, the, the homework that you've been given by your teachers you the, 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 the your teacher says that uh, you have to engage you have to be involved in this you have to do or you know you have to do your duties now uh the main role i want to believe um or now the back lies with the with the teacher today now when the the, the, the the learners are back at home they not with the teachers with the parents the parents have the major role to play now you as a as a teacher and as you say as a parent what do you advise the parent what are parents supposed to do what are the what are the do's and the don'ts of the parent how should they engage these young people how should they you know uh, you know deal with them for the seven weeks that we talked about that is a uh, roughly um uh, close to, to, to two months what will, should they be doing with somebody who is uh, out there with a form three student that will be resuming back to school in uh, at once the end of april that is after seven weeks what do they do what is uh, expected of them as a parent so that now by the time this um learner a form three a form two a form one is going back to school at least they have uh, you know a student that is well nurtured a student that is uh and you a network okay thank you yeah? it is good when we are dealing with uh, things when they are still fresh uh -huh. now schools they are only closing this week uh -huh. others they closed last week uh -huh. now when the parents send these particular students at school uh -huh we expected a report. Yeah. Now students have come with report cards from school. Uh -huh. And now we expect yeah. the parents now, the first thing yeah. to evaluate those kind of report cards Evaluation. and advise uh -huh. the students where necessary. Yeah. Now, when we are talking about the teens, uh -huh. we are having those ones who join just only for once the other day. Yeah. We are also talking about those ones who are maybe in class seven, others are in 
class 8 mm -hmm. and we are also talking about those ones who are going to be candidates yeah. the form for candidates from mm -hmm. this year remember they are going to sit for exam somewhere in december yeah. so the parents they are still playing a very key role when mm -hmm. it comes to all this yeah. now um in as much as we are talking about this we also mm -hmm. need to, uh, know, to know that these particular teens when they are still at home we also mm -hmm. need, uh, request them i might require them mm -hmm. uh, to learn some other aspects of life because mm -hmm. life is not only about academics yeah. a good example is uh, like when they are at home now they can still learn things like cooking yeah. uh, we, we, right now we find uh, quite a number of them Mm -hmm. They are even in high school, but they don't know even how to prepare tea. Ni this is an opportunity. Yeah, ni maji wana jua kuchamusha. Definitely. So, hawajui. Yeah. And then, apart from cooking, we also expect them to venture in some other aspects, like maybe community services yeah. outside. They can even visit the sick mm -hmm. uh, in hospitals and even assist where necessary. Uh -huh. Because we understand, under the Kenyan laws, yeah. it is a crime employing uh, somebody who is below 18 years. Yeah. But they can now volunteer mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to community services. Yeah. It's a plus to them. Mm -hmm. uh, some, uh, sometimes they can also take time, uh -huh. even to visit some colleges just nearby, even if it's a computer college, yeah. even if it's just a polytechnic. Let uh -huh. them just visit those particular areas. Uh -huh. Let them even find their own other students. Let mm -hmm. them engage them yeah. because it is going to give them a career um, prospect mm -hmm. uh, maybe something that they want to venture in yeah. maybe in the future mm -hmm. so it's going to help them a great deal yeah. uh, apart from that even let them uh, even if uh, maybe some of them they even uh, only read about uh, universities in newspapers mm -hmm. or even they only just look at maybe some of them over the TV yeah. let them visit these particular areas because mm -hmm. these are public areas yeah. once they come uh, out of those particular areas already they have renewed mind mm -hmm. so this is an opportunity for them um, at least to engage in the uh, these particular community facilities around them mm -hmm. apart from that let them even visit uh, this particular what um maybe some people who have ventured in businesses even and some uh, other jobs and yeah. everything if you want to become a lawyer visit maybe a law firm yeah yeah you will get to know so many things that uh, uh, is normally uh, going on in those particular areas mm -hmm. so that by the time when you go back to school mm -hmm. already you have renewed mind wow. so there is a lot that mm -hmm. you can get involved Apart from that, uh -huh. uh, right now, especially students who are in rural areas, uh -huh. uh, the parents, they have uh, maybe a lot of uh, maybe uh, work that is going on in homes, homes and everything. Uh -huh. Even assist your parents. Uh -huh. Yes. So uh, this is uh, going to be an opportunity for you now to uh, at least to be productive within uh, where you are. Uh -huh. And I think uh, we are going to produce good citizens out this of is, it. Thank is, you. This is a lot of, a lot of wisdom, man, that is uh, <laughs> rolling from the one of from the teacher and uh, there are so many things that he's putting out uh, for our young people for the learners that are out there for the holidays now um uh, something is getting into me now uh, can you give us a small like a holiday program for, for our young people kuna wale wanasema sasa huu ni wakati wa kulala unaona amefika nyumbani anataka atakuwa anamka kukula yani anamka saa 4 akunywa chai akimaliza kunywa chai analala tena during lunch time anaamka kukula then uh, you know kuamuka ni kazi ni kukula peke yake na kulala now uh, i want you to 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 like give a, a small kind of uh, a comprehensive kind of like a holiday program for these young people for these learners okay thank you yeah? um umeulia swali mzuri especially those people who like sleeping yeah. and uh, this one only applies maybe to students especially who are maybe in urban areas uh -huh. because you will understand uh, hapa tau ni kuhasol eh? uh -huh. Muzazi anamuka asubuhi anaenda kazini yeah. And then atarudi jioni mm -hmm. So whatever that happens Maybe during the day mm -hmm. The parent has very little control over it uh -huh. um, But in rural areas I think uh, we have a guided program Especially we have a lot of maybe uh, Activities going on Especially mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the farm mm -hmm. Now um, Entirely when it comes to the student program is very simple yeah. As a parent, you need to ask yourself, mm -hmm. what is it that my child can do? Yeah. Yes. Uh, once you identify that, mm -hmm. some of them, they can get involved in sports. Yeah. Others, they can go even uh, maybe learn uh, maybe like a new language. Yeah. Others, they can go maybe to visit maybe like art classes. Uh -huh. Others, they can maybe even participate even in church activities uh -huh. and uh, some other things. So once you identify mm -hmm. um, maybe your area of interest where your child uh, maybe is interested in, mm -hmm. then allow that child also to participate in that. Yeah. Now, the second question you need to ask yourself, mm -hmm. when my child is now participating in this particular activity, mm -hmm. how is it helping this particular child? Yeah. Because you also look at uh, something that is going to be productive. Mm -hmm. 
uh, when it comes to this particular child. Yeah. And then apart from that, now you look at now from there, um, of what value? Mm -hmm. Is it going now to bring to the entire family? Mm -hmm. Because you cannot just only go, uh, maybe allow the child to get involved mm -hmm. in something, and then this particular child, maybe you are not getting value out of it. Mm -hmm. At the same time, parents, they also need to be very careful, especially mm -hmm. uh, when these particular teens, they are getting involved in some people within the society. Who are they? Yeah. Because we have some people who are even questionable morals. Mm -hmm. So we also need mm -hmm. to do some background check, uh, especially when... Um, it comes to those people who are now engaging our, ch our children, especially when it comes to this particular crucial time. Yeah. Uh, because um, uh, when, 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 when you as a parent, you have gone maybe to work, maybe you, the, the whole day. Mm -hmm. Now, during the day, what has happened? And mm -hmm. some of the students, especially the teens, they are introverts. Mm -hmm. They cannot even share some of those yeah. information. So you'll come to discover uh -huh. when it is so late. Uh -huh. uh, and then maybe something might have happened to that particular child. Now, to speak to a yes. parent that mm -hmm. is saying, Mimi um, Nwara was 37, I'm a Rifika class 4. I'm a Hata 2. I'm a Hata Yohana Kukanyaga Hata Kwandika Jina Nishinda. Lakini mnoto waki ya Form 3, saa hii. Uh, how should they deal with them during a time like this? Where by, mnoto wana feel, yeah, ndi anafaa kuambia mamake how they should behave. <laughs> You know, but now the, the, the role of the parent, okay, in such a case, whereby um toto anaskia mimi diyo nabaa kuambia mamangu vile kuna endanga. Niki muambia sasa, minavani yone TV, akubali. Niki muambia navani, niende ni katembe, muambia kwa playstations, you know. Now, advise such a parent. Okay. Um, my advice is very simple. Huh? We are, I understand uh, parenting does not come naturally. Yeah. And a parent will just remain to be a parent. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether you end a shule, how you end a shule, mm -hmm. that still remains to be a parent. Mm -hmm. And a child, you still remain to be a child. Yeah. So follow the advice that your parents normally give you. Mm -hmm. Don't try to dictate because they were born before you. Mm -hmm. And they know so much about, uh, about you. Yeah. So what happens is uh, just decide to follow the way they advise you to They've do. They've got a lot of experience yes. in life yeah. and they are faced yeah. so many things. They know what is happening, you know, and uh, they can tell when, uh, you know, a student is... Uh, Missing the way. Now, th there are two categories of parents here. There is um, a, a young person that is brought up by both parents, that is a, a father and, and a mother. Na wote ni wa ni watu wa kubwa pengine wa mesoma, wa kosawa, okay? Na mtutuwa wa nesoma. And there is another category of um, a, a young person that is in form three, belonging to a single parent. Into a single parent, eh? Belonging to a single parent. So, by the time of form three, hata wanaka kama engagement. <laughs> Eh, so hata pale kwa nyumba, inakuwa ni kama huyu ndiyo, watu wa kiingia wanafikiria huyu ndiyo mzee kwa hii mboma na huyu ndiyo mama. Now, advise the single parent on how to handle, especially where we are talking about uh, single parents in terms of uh, agenda, is, is a lady dealing with a kijana. Sana sana tusue, tu, before we ongea musikiana, is dealing with a young person in form 3, ambaya na pilu sasa, mimi ndiyo mwanaume kusema hapa, akikohoa. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, in such a case where uh, maybe you are a mother uh -huh. and you happen that you have a, a son uh -huh. who is in Form 3 yeah. and there are some things that you cannot even discuss mm -hmm. with that particular student because uh, of uh, what you call the nature yeah. and even uh, where we come from the families. Eh? Mm -hmm. Certain things maybe you cannot even uh, discuss open with your son. Yeah. Uh, what happens is try mm -hmm. to find a father figure. And there are so many father figures within our society. Uh -huh. Sometimes we can even use the church. Yeah. Sometimes we can even use some other members within our family. Mm -hmm. People whom you can trust. They yeah. can come and even share some information with them. Mm -hmm. So they can really help. Yes. Sometimes when uh, even they are uh, when they are at home, mm -hmm. we even have even teachers within among us ourselves. Mm -hmm. Some of them they can even talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. So they, 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 there is a lot of help mm -hmm. uh, where you can get. So mm -hmm. don't get afraid. Okay, I yes. think that is, uh, that is great wisdom and is, uh, is quite deep because um, I, I'm sure there are parents that are <laughs> watching out there and wondering now, how do I deal with my son? Especially, he sees on a pattern when I'm going class 8, you know, they're, they're mm. talking of um, going through some rites of passage, you know, circumcision and, and wherever it is. Wondering now, how do I go about this? And it is good that Mwalim um, says that um, you just need to get a father figure for your sons and uh, Probably your daughter, some people that can help you out in this. Now, uh, as we end up our request, because um, um, my directors are telling me that our time is up, I want you to uh, do your parting shot as uh, we wind up. And uh, I tell you, this is great information. This is what a parent, a learner, and a teacher you can't afford to miss. 
Now, thank you. Uh, my parting shot uh, is going to be very simple. A yeah. uh, number of uh, things I'm going to put across. One, uh, parents, they need to understand this, that uh, when you are talking to the teens, especially at this particular age, what normally happens is uh, don't shout at them. Because research has indicated that uh, the moment you shout, that particular part of the brain that deals with the logic, mm -hmm. it enters the flight mode. Mm -hmm. So whatever that you say, uh, after now the, the, the brain has already entered the flight mode, uh -huh. it is useless. Yeah. Uh, another thing is uh, allow these particular teens to, to deal with their own emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, don't uh, just to be overprotective. I know where we come from, especially like uh, teens, especially when they are the boys, when they cry. Mm -hmm. You will find people, they, they, they are saying that uh, boys, they don't cry. Yeah. Uh, even big girls like you, they don't cry, and you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, you are denying them an opportunity of try trying to deal with their own frustrations. Mm -hmm. So they miss an opportunity of learning. Yeah. So allow them to deal with their own emotions, mm -hmm. and uh, through that, they are going to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. um, lastly, as parents, uh, all these particular children, they belong to all of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever you are, if you find a teen somewhere, please try to encourage that particular child because you are building another generation. Mm -hmm. And if we let that particular generation now uh, maybe go astray, mm -hmm. then at one point or another, we are going to uh, maybe blame ourselves for mm -hmm. that. So uh, let's play our role and let's allow God also to do the rest. Wow, that yeah. is uh, wisdom after wisdom after wisdom from a teacher. And... Uh, he gave all that is necessary for uh, such a very uh, trying season, especially for the parents who are wondering now, how do I go about this? How do I deal with my, you know, my young people? About nuanjuanji sana, wanajua sana, hakuna kitu wajui. So uh, for you to be able to deal uh, with these people, this is something that you cannot miss out on. It is important. You need to get this. You need to understand this. You need to learn from um, uh, such kind of people, our teachers, because uh, uh, from the systems that we have in our in our um, academic, in our in our um, school calendars today, you realize that the, your teachers or the teachers have more time with uh, the teenagers. The, the, the teachers have more time with the learners, so they understand them. And that is why you should grasp this kind of uh, wisdom from uh, uh, Mualim Neville here that says that uh, that is what you need to do with uh, your young people so that you don't miss out. He gave you enough uh, wisdom and it is important that uh, you adhere to that because it will help you. At least we can be able to nurture a people that will change a generation. Uh, this has been Dialogue at the Well every Saturday at 6 p.m. I'm your host, Brigger Prince. You can uh, catch us live every Saturday on all our social media uh, platforms, our uh, Wema TV. We love you, you are wonderful people. Keep uh, uh, engaged, um, keep learning with us, and uh, we love you. Have a nice evening.